Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my holy shit products from celebrity brands from the US and the UK. When I say holy shit, I mean three things. One is a product that you just get into your hands and you start to use it and you're like, holy shit. I also say that sometimes when I have a product that I like a lot and when you get past that halfway mark and you're starting to think that things are running out, holy shit. Finally, I'm a bit of a nerd. When I find a brand that is doing something that is unique and innovative, that is a holy sh moment for me. At Janet's List, we feature books, brands, and art by black women and women of color. Now, all of the products in this video I have bought with my own money. However, if someone wants to sponsor me in the future, I am totally open to that. One more thing. In this video, I will help you to pick up on the signals that suggest a celebrity brand is legit and worth your money. Let's get into it. You cannot start a video like this without mentioning my favorite billionaire Rihanna and of course we're talking about Fenty. You know that a celebrity brand is legit when it's struck a chord with the masses but also requires industry players to up their game. When Fenty launched with 40 Shades, it caused such a seismic shift in the industry and it was a game-changing moment. For this video, I went around my flat gathering all of my Fenty products. It's no surprise that Rihanna is a billionaire because look at this IKEA bag of beauty products. And I'm not even a massive influencer. This is all stuff that I bought with my own money. I'm pretty sure that every woman has a little bit of Fenty in their bag. I'm partial to her lip products, her body care products, and complexion as well. And of course, the challenge in trying to find a holy shit product is really narrowing it down. So my finalists were the original body butter, like the shimmer on this is amazing and it feels so good on the skin. And then I have the lip mask, which I really love for flights, for travel, or even at night when you just want something moisturizing for your lips. But if I had to pick one holy product one product that i feel is unmatched across any of the other brands for me quite simply it's the fenty hot chocolate i love this product it looks really good on bare lips if you have a lip color and you want to give it a little bit of a pop it's great for that but it also gives you a hint of glitter without it feeling grainy plus it's moisturizing for the lips i just feel like fenty has absolutely nailed it when it comes to lip products and that's the product that i think you will find in every woman's handbag i remember getting my first hot chocolate it had just come out and i don't think sephora was in london at that point and so my friend wakonya and i in paris went to the big sephora and we found the last two tubes like we were so happy and in speaking to the lady at the counter, she told me that there was a day where they had sold 7,000 tubes of hot chocolate. That's how popular this product is. And it also looks good on all complexions, not just women with deep dark skin like mine. I will leave you with one final thought. You will have seen all over TikTok and Instagram that Rihanna, our favorite billionaire, went to perform at a wedding in India. Now I know that she doesn't need the money, we know that she's not performed for so many years. What I actually think was happening there is that this is a business move. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see Fenty turning up exclusively in certain stores in that region. If you think differently or if you prefer another holy shit product, please let me know in the comments below. Next up is Pattern Beauty. If you've been on this channel before, you know that I love this brand and Tracy Ellis Ross has done an incredible job with this. She's all about the hair, so it's not a stretch for her to have built a hair care brand that is rooted in loving and accepting yourself. More than that, however, these products are so efficacious, they're so beautiful to look at, the branding around them is amazing, and it is actually very difficult to find a pattern beauty product that you do not like, which is why it's gonna be really challenging to land on a holy sh product. Palo Santo Live-In Conditioner, I've talked about this before, amazing product. And people love the scent so much that it has extended to the rest of the range. I have used the Hydrating Mist, but I've actually used it as a detangler when I take down my braids, rather than using it as a mist in the typical sense. Also a great product. This I picked up, but I haven't used it yet because I need to take out my braids and it's the Jojoba Oil Blend Self-Heating Packs. We're laughing behind the camera because this Pattern Beauty Edge Brush, I love this thing, but I can never find it. I actually wish that Pattern Beauty made it in yellow, but like in a wipe clean so that you would always be able to find it. Like there's literally times I have carried this on a trip and I've not been able to find it until I come back and unpack and go through everything. Yes, of course you can use a bamboo toothbrush, of course. I just love the tip, I love the brush, 
I love the little bristles as well when you need them. However, my absolute holy sh product from Pattern Beauty, believe it or not, is their shampoo. Honestly, I think the shampoo is incredible. I take this shampoo with me everywhere. You can see it's looking quite buttered up because I carried it on my last trip. At Janet's List, I'm always testing new products. I love testing different formulations, but I noticed that since I started using this shampoo, anytime I have to use another product, I'm just like a little bit like, no, I kind of want to go back to it. Tracy Ellis Ross did a video where she talked about some of their best performing products and their shampoo was right there in fact for that one i think it might be the hydrating one but this clarifying one it cleanses your scalp removes the buildup but without drying it out it leaves the hair feeling soft and supple it plays nicely with other products i absolutely love it so when we're talking about celebrity brands that are legit the longevity is a really important thing and here you have tracy ellis ross who had been dreaming of a hair care brand for 20 years when she finished filming Girlfriends, she actually pitched a hair care brand at that stage, but they told her it was premature and there wasn't a market for it. And she went back to the drawing board and she came back stronger with an excellent brand. On top of that, some of the indicators of its longevity is the fact that it's been able to attract top dollar talent. So I know that the CEO or the co-president of Savage X Fenty Christian Pendavis recently joined Pattern Beauty and that tells you a little bit about the executive team and the direction in which they're moving. Also their strategy around retail was really thoughtful. Sephora, Alta, Boots, those are exactly the type of retailers that you want your product to be in. And for me the real gem here is what Pattern Beauty brings to the conversation around natural hair themes of identity and acceptance, but all of this is fueled by the star power of Tracy, the celebrity, but also in a way that's really authentic to her. Because like I said at the start, there is no one who has done a variety of hairstyles, playing with curly, playing with straight, playing with protective styles more than Tracy. She's just the perfect person to be at the helm of a brand like this. We've practically grown up with Jackie Aina on YouTube. We know that she loves scent, but she also represents this bigger idea about black women being in luxury, enjoying indulgent experiences, and basically having a sense of well-being and calm and ease around themselves. Home fragrance is a category that makes absolute sense for Jackie Aina, and I should say at this point that Forever Mood is a brand that she's co-founded with her partner, Dennis Asamoah. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be talking about Jackie mostly. Her candle brand Forever Mood really encapsulates these ideas and it's translated through things like the naming of the products, the emphasis on gourmand scents, but also just a strong and bold approach throughout. Given what we do at Janet's List, which is a focus on independent brands, books and art by black women and women of color, of course I was excited when Jackie launched her brand. When it comes to candles and scent, I'm one of those people who will always buy in person. And so I just waited until I had a trip to America so that I could go and discover these products in store. When I went to the Sephora in LA, I loved smelling matcha business and coughing season, although matcha business is more along the lines of a sweet, nutty scent, a bit like walking into a coffee shop. I'd say coughing season is not far away from that. And both of those were good scents, but they were not necessarily my holy sh product. But let me tell you, when I picked up champagne showers, champagne showers is always going to be the girl. I loved this candle. It's like bergamot, notes of peach, and what's the other one as well? Creamy woods. It has a creamy, yet crisp and fruity scent to it, a bit like going on holiday or like sitting out in the summer with your friends. But equally, I find that I use it a lot when I'm in the bath and I'm relaxing. So it gives its own scent, but it doesn't overpower any of the other products. And I absolutely love that balance. And of course, with this being Jackie Aina, I feel like it fits in really well with that whole self-care theme which runs through Jackie as a person, but also through her brand Forever Mood. One thing to note about celebrity brands that are legit, generally you'll find that the brand will have a name that is different from the celebrity. So like most of the brands that I will cover in this video, Pattern, Fenty, all have different names to the person. But I think I mentioned it in Jackie Aina's case specifically because it would have been so easy for Jackie to name this brand Jackie Aina. And actually, I think in the short term, and given the fact that she's an influencer and she knows how to drive and sell product, 
this would have moved the product along so much further. But as a long-term strategy, I really respect her and Dennis. People can independently judge the brand without having Jackie attached to it so that it's very much about the focus being on the product. In the long term, the separation between Jackie Aina and her brand with Dennis, Forever Mood, is really smart. Sebo Labs is a skincare brand that was founded by Sabrina and Idris Elba in 2022. Their focus is on creating a skincare brand that caters for melanated skin, which by the way, if those products work, they work for everyone, using unique ingredients, particularly from East Africa, that are sustainably sourced. Fun fact, Sable is actually Elba's spelled backwards. One of the things that I love about having done Janet's List for many years, eight pop-up shops, hundreds of brands, books, artists, what happens is you develop an instinct around brands. And there was something about Sable, even though it's taken me a bit longer to get into the brand, as soon as I had the products in my hand, I was like immediately yes. And I'm gonna tell you why. Bringing highly efficacious ingredients into like the mainstream skincare ecosystem. Kassil, if you haven't come across it, is an ingredient that is commonly found in Somalia. Let me ask you a question. When have you ever seen a Somali woman or girl who doesn't have absolutely perfect skin? I will say that Kassil is one of those secret ingredients. Due to its antioxidant properties and its soothing properties, I can understand why they put it in this cleanser. And so you would think that it would be on the short list for my holy product. So I'm just gonna hold this closer to the camera that has granules in it. So whilst that's good for giving you that low key exfoliation, and by the way, those granules are not intense. I'm not a person who is a fan of physical exfoliants. Will I use this cleanser right to the end? Absolutely. If you ask me what my holy sh product is, without a doubt, it's the Bobab moisturizer. Bobab is one of those antioxidant ingredients that is just so good for you. If you walk along the coast of Kenya, you will see baobab trees everywhere. And so when I saw that the moisturizer not only has that, but it also has bacuchol and tranexamic acid, I was like, absolutely, this is something I'm gonna try out. And as soon as I got it, it was out of the pack. I started using it and I found myself reaching for it every day, which is why it is 100% my holy product from Sebo Labs. I think it's particularly good for travel, um, it's quite good if you want to give it out as a gift, also because the packaging is very subtle and gender neutral. I'd also say that it's a good moisturizer to use for most times of the year, although for me personally during the winter, I think I would use something heavier. I also love the fact that a little goes a long way. I'm sure I saw a TikTok from Jess, their product officer, who showed the recommended amount for each Sable product. When it comes to thinking about Sable as a celebrity brand and what makes it really work, Sabrina and Idris have really leaned into what makes them unique founders for a brand. Both of them have this natural beauty that stands out that can only be enhanced by using a product like this. And then add to that, we have these authentic, new, interesting ingredients that have been used for years and years in other communities but are starting to come into the mainstream skincare ecosystem and not only do you have these new unique ingredients but they are actually effective when you look at reviews of sable you'll find that doctors and dams and other skincare professionals really rate the brand and then you have this gender neutral very chic very calm branding which means that the products can work on anyone's bathroom shelf and then finally you fold in the celebrity and star power and they're using that to cast a light on the needs of melanated skin types and the need for more skincare that caters to all of the diversity of the world that we live in to me that is a brand that knows what they're doing and that is why sable had to be on my holy sh products list if you're enjoying this video, there's lots more where that came from. Please remember to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. It helps a tiny channel like ours get through these YouTube streets. Danessa Myricks is one of those people who was so well known in the world of celebrity makeup, but it has taken her launching her brand for her brilliance to be felt throughout. The thing about Danessa Myricks is she learned on the job. She's a self-taught makeup artist. She's worked in the worlds of makeup, of hair, of beauty. And over the years, she has been able to create all of these innovative products that set her apart as a celebrity makeup brand. 
Danessa is basically the makeup artist that makeup artists love. Danessa acted as a director of innovation for brands like Benefit and Case, but while she was there, she realized that she could only achieve her vision by building her own thing. And that's when she started her beauty brand. And it is this innovation that makes you say, holy sh when you come across many of her products. And of course, I'm saying that in a good way. In my little stash, and I'm no influencer by any means, I kind of had to whittle down the products I had. The first two were easy. The nude palette didn't really show up on my skin as such, and I think that's probably because of my lack of makeup application technique rather than anything else. And I'll say for Danessa's products, there are some products in her range, you kind of need to know what you're doing with makeup to be able to get the most out of them. But putting those to one side, when it comes to the blurring balm powders and the blushes, Danessa Myrick's products are unmatched. And so I found it really hard to pick what my holy sh product would be because I really love her blushes. And then there's the blurring balm, there's a clear one, and then there's a one that has color and pigment. And for me, absolutely the holy sh product is the beauty blurring balm that has pigment in it. I'm number 10. That's the color that I find matches me. In fact, I'm wearing it now under foundation. And what makes this product incredible is the Swedish technology called Absolite. And what it does is that it's very good at absorbing sebum and oil. And so if you're wearing this product in hot weather, or if you're the type of person whose skin is prone to becoming shiny, this product will be a game changer for you. But you end up with a natural matte finish that's really easy to achieve. You can either use your fingers, you can use a brush, but what I know is that if this blurring balm powder is good enough for Usher, who had it on during his Super Bowl performance, it is good enough for me. And as I talk about this holy sh product, I already know that she has a new product called the Water Powder Serum. I cannot wait to get my hands on that because I have a feeling that that one might pip this product to the post and that I will love that product even more. But that's just the nature of Danessa. All of the stuff from her brand is incredible. The next brand is a slight departure because the product that I'll be highlighting is not necessarily a beauty or a skincare brand, but it's from a brand that is co-founded by an incredible woman, Emma Greed, and she is the co-founder of Good American, which she started with Khloe Kardashian a few years ago. Now, you might have seen hints of this on the Kardashian show when they were setting up the Good American store in LA, and I believe it's in Westfield Century City. That's the one that I visited. And I was not intending to buy anything specific, but let me tell you, if there is one thing I have been looking for in this London, it is black trousers. Now, I have one of those body types where I'm slim and I have long legs and slim hips, but I have a little bit of a bum. And when I tell you I can never find black trousers that fit me, waist, hips, and that are long enough. And so I went into Good American and I tried these black trousers. And when I tell you I have worn these trousers to death, I love them for a number of reasons. First of all, they sit really well on my body. I'm not even someone who likes wide leg trousers, but when I put these on, they looked so good on me. I love the fact that they have pockets, but they have a really concealed zip so you can actually zip it up so that you don't have that thing where like the pockets are sticking out or bulging out in pictures also the fabric that they're made from is quite like it has a lot of weight to it so it doesn't feel like a light or flimsy fabric but at the same time it is comfortable enough that you can travel in it or take a flight in it i know there's lots of other good stuff from good americans so many women who have different body shapes love all of the denim and the jeans that you can get from that brand but my absolute holy sh product from good american is these black trousers i love them they're one of my best buys for 2023 emma greed is british she has lived in america for a number of years set up a number of brands including good american she is quite a formidable entrepreneur and more recently she's been getting a more visibility because of some of the shows that she's been involved in she's been in shark tank she's been in dragon's den in the uk and she's also been on another show in roku called side hustlers emma greed is increasingly taking a more public role when it comes to issues of diversity and inclusion in business more recently she's been very heavily involved in the 15 percent pledge i believe she might be their chairwoman and the 15% pledge obviously have done incredible work in this area, certainly following the racial reckoning of 2020. Now there's one person that I'm going to mention who isn't a celebrity or an influencer, but I really believe that this woman is going to become a household name. And her name is Olamide Olowe, and she's the founder of Topicals. Guys, I love this brand. I love everything that she's doing. 
and I think that the future is so bright for her. Let me tell you why. Topicals is a really thoughtful and innovative brand. And what Olamide has done here is that she's created a new vertical in an area of skincare that was ripe for disruption. So basically you have this science backed skincare products that solve chronic skin conditions but the packaging and the branding and the storytelling is just so fresh and interesting think about that brand trip that happened in december to ghana that was all over social media that is just the work of an excellent mind that is surrounded by the right team who really knows how to tap into culture and you see that on the instagram posts you see that on the videos and the storytelling she's doing such a good job with this now like all brands that have that storytelling element this brand was founded from problems that she experienced with herself and her sibling while they were growing up and she understands the impact of having skincare that deals with chronic skin conditions that can improve your life for the better. Now, I love each and every product from Topicals. When I had to narrow it down to my holy shit products, I was struggling between these two. This is the like butter hydrating moisturizer and I use it specifically on my legs because I have a very stubborn spot of eczema that I've had for many years and when it starts to flare up, I use this product. However, the product that I absolutely love at the moment is this eye patches. They are unmatched. Whenever I put under eye patches, they literally slide down my face. And what I love about these is that they stay in place. They do exactly what they're meant to do, which is brightening and really firming up that area under the eye. They're really practical as well. So you've seen people put them on on flights. You can put them on while you're working. They just respond to the needs of a busy modern woman. But why I have included this brand in this video is because when I was last in New York about a month ago, I went to five different Sephora's trying to get my hands on more of this product because you can't get it in retail in the UK at the moment, but also to get the slick salve, like the peppermint lip product. I cannot wait to get my hands on that product and I could not find it anywhere. Everywhere I went, empty shelves. There is so much demand for this brand. So I thought I would include her in this video even though she doesn't have as big a profile as the other people that I covered in this video. But if you'd want me to do a deep dive on Olamide and Topicals, I would absolutely love that. I just think the brand and the founder are both fascinating. So just let me know in the comments below and we can go from there. Also, if there are other holy products that you like, particularly if they are from brands by black women or women of color, let me know in the comments or if there are things that you like from brands but you would have picked another product instead of the one that i did let me know again in the comments i want to hear all about this i should probably end with a couple of quick points number one the elephant in the room of course is sacred from beyonce i feel like that's a product that I, a, I need to get my hands on and i need to use it for a while before i can establish what my holy product is going to be from that brand if there's going to be any i actually just missed the launch of sacred in america i think it launched a couple of weeks after i came back so i'm just going to wait until i have an opportunity to get the product the other notable influence that i've wanted to cover is patricia bright i know she has a new brand called uwa or our i don't know how to pronounce it but not enough has come out about that brand for me to be able to confidently say anything about it. But also, I want to get my hands on the products and use them and just see how I get on with them. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. There's lots more videos where that's come from and I'm going to pop a couple of those uh, on the left and right above me. And I will see you in the next video.